Hey, what's up guys? Another commentary video here. And the reason why I make these... Well, this is my second one, but the reason why I want to make another one is to prove my sp speech, I guess. And reason why for that, because I guess I am autistic, I guess. <coughs> but yeah, I found this video on the internet that um I really hate Karen so much. I work at a retail store and we have to deal with this shit a lot. And it doesn't get any better when it comes to a TJ Maxx. With, um, this is a guy, so what do we call him? I guess we can call him Terry. He, he starts getting mad because, um, you know, the usual, uh, I can't wear a mask, this is America. And he starts arguing with the person at the front and then starts walking around the shop and then starts buying other stuff and stuff like that. And then he starts going on a rant and then starts mentioning that he has a disability. I, ha I can be exempted from it and I don't know, it's pretty stupid that how these people always got to come up with some stupid shit like this. Like, it's ridiculous. I feel like these number of Karen and Terry's are growing in numbers. It's ridiculous. I, how many times have I said that word? It's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah. The amount of- it's growing so much that I think we're gonna see the end of the world. We're gonna see a Karen apocalypse sometime soon. So, uh, yeah, grab yourself a snack and a glass of orange juice and here we go! You're- you're telling me that we cannot shop here, my kids, because there's only one person that can come in at a time. Yeah. So you're turning away my children. There's no mask mandate in Texas for children. You understand that, right? Alrighty, I think the lady said that there should only be like one person per family coming inside to reduce the spread. I think Costco at one point did that. And um, I think also what he said is like, there's no mask mandate for children in Texas. I don't know about that, but I know like children that are two years or younger that don't have really have to wear a mask. But with this... um guy here i'm also making this video because i saw this on reddit and i saw like texan karen got get, gets mad but yeah um yeah and i also heard that they're opening up everything in texas i heard they're not the only state but th it's the state that got the most backlash but it's still up there until next wednesday i i believe and even then i know some private companies could still keep that mask mandate so you do understand that you're violating the law first of all my federal right you're harassing me and discriminating against me because of my disability. Do you understand that? Do you understand what the Americans with Disabilities Act is? I mean, at this point, putting on a mask or not putting on a mask already shows your intelligence already. So in a way, I guess he already has a disability and that's the only disability that we should kick people out of a store for not wearing a mask. But yeah, but to be honest though, I like how they always got to mention that they have a disability or like asthma or like, uh, like a health condition, like they're exempted from not wearing a mask. But at the same time, like there's COVID running around. I think I'd rather wear a mask and then start suffering from my asthma in the long in the short term i mean then suffer from covid in the long term like don't you have an inhaler of anything it really makes no sense like they're just they just don't want to wear a mask because it's like a new to them and they always bring up um it's gonna come up in the video but they always bring up this one thing that always annoys me is to you i don't get this anywhere else i go in texas and it is a reprehensible behavior to make a child feel like they should be wearing a mask when there's nothing wrong with them. Later in the video, it shows that he's not wearing a mask too. So does he? Does he consider? Does he also consider himself the child too? Oh, <laughs> he. You you understand what you're doing in civil rights? Would you turn somebody away for their race or their religion or their beliefs or anything else like that? Would you? Because a medical exemption, a disability, is a protected class. I always hate when they always bring up race or gender or religion up in all of this like they always compare what big thing that actually happened to the minority race to something very trivial like mask wearing like it's all because like this virus originally came from china and chinese koreans japanese often wear masks and americans don't want to do that because it ain't american because another country does that a disability is protected class so what i'm gonna do right now hopefully you can respect this is that I'm going to stand in my legal right, which is that if this is a public facility that's open to the public, it is, public it, is it is absolutely, you are a private, could you sell cocaine in here if you wanted to as a private business? All right, first off, like, I don't think any legal company, private or public, can sell, oh my god, my freaking phone, I don't, I don't think any 
public or private company can sell cocaine or anything illegal like that but what she's trying to tell you is like public companies can ha have more rules and regulations other than the fact that they're not on the stock market but yeah they can have like more rules and regulations that's all i know from it for now but i know that like twitter's a private company look at all their social media platforms they banned donald trump on twitter and all other social media platforms after the insurrection in the capital. So like even when Texas fully reopens again, some stores will simply require you to wear a mask regardless what what the law says. I, I, you, you right now, this is called holding me hostage and against my will. Oh my God. How is that holding hostage? How, like no one's holding you hostage. You could leave anytime you want. You just can't enter the store because you're not complying to their guidelines and stuff like that. Oh my God. Like no one's holding you a gunpoint or a knife point or anything. No one has kidnapped you. That There's no way you're, you're being held at hostage and against your will. That is so stupid. Correct. Yes, 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 correct. Absolutely. Yeah. That's you know what that is a violation of law. You I'm cannot sorry. just one yeah. person at a time sorry, whatsoever. Sorry. I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier in this video, but I'm pretty sure he thinks COVID is fake. <laughs> okay, but it is illegal. It is constitutional. I wanted to mention this as well in early in the video. I didn't find the opportunity to, but it is constitutional because it keeps the public welfare fair like well like I'll, i'm gonna put an image right here in short it is constitutional like don't even come up with that bullshit all right i'm pretty sure that letting one person in at a time is appropriate to limit the amount of people inside the store because the virus and bacteria and all this stuff like that they'll they'll spread even faster when you're inside Look, i'm gonna walk into the store if you would like to call the police you can let's go kids come on let's go kids if you touch me you touch me don't touch me kids let's go I like how the man goes, like, if you touch me, if you touch me, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sue you. Yeah, like, uh, kids, let's go. You can see the lady putting her hands like this, like, you're, you're, you're basically trying to push her out of her way in, in a sense. Kids, oh god, I can't even imagine what the kids are gonna be like in the future. They're either gonna be like, oh, I had the worst daddy in the world. Or they're gonna be like another Karen or Terry that they're gonna grow up. It's gonna be, this is what I mean by it's gonna be like a Karen apocalypse in the future. Honestly, I don't know. I think the Foo Fighters is a horrible job to be honest, because these are the Foo. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna shop my entire experience here. The two biggest crimes in this video so far is one, he's not wearing a mask along with his children as well. And two, he's recording vertical. I get it in like short videos, I guess recording vertical, I really don't care. But like in a video like this, you kind of have to record like landscape. It shows like the most picture out of everything. Like, I don't know, it really depends, but... In this case, like, I feel like I have tunnel vision just seeing this video because I don't really know what's really going on with the video being vertical and all that. You guys listen to me. You always stand for truth. You understand me? You're doing nothing wrong. You're doing nothing wrong. So we're going to get some things and you're going to help me because they wouldn't give me a cart. And then we're going to leave and we're going to go to Whole Foods. Okay? I'm going to mention this in the video again, but this is what I mean that he's probably going to raise a bunch of Karens in the future. He's teaching them you're not doing nothing wrong. You got to stand for truth. The earth is flat. COVID is fake. That's all the stupid conspiracies I could. The moon landing is fake. There we go. There we go. There we go. It is so stupid. Like. I just had to address that again, to be honest. Let's go. I'm, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm respecting my right. No, this is ridiculous for you to be doing this in front of my children. I'm not going to talk sorry, anymore. Can I, can I ring you up? You can, you, you, can, you, you can do whatever you want. I, would like to I don't even have a cart. I am, I am no. so offended right now. I can't even tell you. For me to be dealing with this when I was in California by myself is one thing. Well, well, well. Look how the tables turn. At first, it was all the... Liberals that were saying, Oh, I'm offended. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, don't assume my gender. I'm a man. Now we got, um, hey, I'm offended. I have to wear a mask. It is so stupid. And I can see why he moved to Texas now because he had to deal with all the minorities and all this stuff like that. And I don't even know why I mentioned minorities. He probably didn't even mention that in the video, but okay, yeah. He probably had to deal with all that, um, all that stuff. Okay. <sighs> he probably had to deal with all that stuff in California. And yeah, like now he's mad that. It's all coming back to him in Texas. Avec mes enfants, I'm starting to speak in French, with my children. It is reprehensible behavior, and I am so perturbed right now. This is America at the end of the day. Oh my god. He, this is what I mentioned earlier in the video. This is America. This is America. This is America. I thought this was America.
Huh? Isn't this America? Some people think like because it's America, they can do anything they want from um, roaming around with no mask, roaming around with no clothes on, no underwear, let alone kill that, um, your dog in your yard, kill your neighbor for no reason. They think if it's America, they think they can do whatever they want. If it was really like that, America would look like Skyrim if old frick Stormcloak took over Skyrim. There would be like all barbarians and bandits roaming all over the street. It'd be like the purge all over again. Cities and villages and all shanty towns will be raided. It will just be like back in the zero common era all over again. That's what it's going to be like. I also like how he had to start speaking in French so he could start sounding smart. Oh, did that, did that French on Duolingo work for you, buddy? Did it really work? You learned a few words. Nice. You're level one on Duolingo. Nice. But I hope that this teaches everybody in here a lesson that we have children and that the damage to them is immense. And for them to think that they have to wear a mask. No, no, I can speak how I want. You guys started this, not me. I'm going to continue on. Let's go, kids. So when I was a little boy, I had experienced one of the most traumatizing things in my life. So I was in an alleyway, right? At a grocery store. And all of a sudden, some guy started strangling me with some fabric over my mouth. And I was suffocating to death. I didn't even know what to do. I thought I was going to pass out. Uh, sir, you're supposed to wear a mask. No, you can't tell me what to do. Okay. That's a stupid play right there. I like how it, I like how he just mentions like they started it. It's like you're the one that approached the store, tried to walk in with no mask, and then all of a sudden, no, you guys started this. You, 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 you fucking bitch started it. And I mean, like these people here have like prayed with me and stuff. Like I don't even, I don't, I truly, I don't understand. Like that we can't, that we can't uh, make a distinction between what's right and where it's right and when it's right i mean society has lost their minds i can't even deal with it like as we say in french there's an art and then there's a manner of doing things and hold on sweetie pie is that right and there he goes with the french oh my god yeah he's trying to sound so smart with his duolingo lessons and i know i last video i tried to speaking in spanish but i feel like he's just a beginner and stuff like that he's <laughs> Uh, but the other thing is he tries to mention like a quote from Aeropostale or something and then tries to make his audience saying that he's not a dumbass. You can walk through a store without a mask and stuff. This is the right thing to do even though I'm endangering everyone around my surroundings. Honestly, this, this everyone has said this already but this not putting on a mask is like not putting your seatbelt on. I don't even know how, why people don't leave their seatbelt on now these days. Like the only time I would like not put my seatbelt on is if, I, if I'm driving to work and I don't really want to go to work and I hope I get into a car crash. Like, hey, you do you, man, at the end of the day, but. I appreciate you very much. Yeah, I'm, I really I'm sorry, do. Man. It's, it's not you. It's I'm tired of everybody being turned against themselves. And you know, at the end of the day, we have to stand up for each other. What are we going to do? Allow ourselves to continue to be taken advantage of like we haven't learned? I don't care if anybody's Republican or Democrat. Hey, newsflash for everybody here. Nobody's vote counts anymore. So are we all going to stand together or not? Like, are we human or no? I've lost it anymore. Now, easily, you can tell this guy voted for Trump because he easily said that nobody's vote matters, you know? Now the government's taking advantage of us wearing a mask every time. We need to stand together. Well, in general, these are like the same people that always got to start shit. Like, don't get me wrong. There are some people on the left wing that all also start shit. Honestly, this this is why I don't eat side with anyone in general. Honestly, I, I fucking hate politics, man. I, I'm generally apolitical, but when when it comes to like morals and philosophical stuff like this, you get you have to keep in mind with the well being not only you but other people as well. Like I can tell this guy's just a selfish little prick. He just wants to do like anything that does not he doesn't want to do anything that's like a minor inconvenience at all. And then in the video at this party continues to start giving everyone in the store a lecture like you gotta stand up for truth I don't want COVID swabs up my ass like ugh, fuck, I always stutter I fucking hate it but yeah and then he says like yeah go ahead you can record me I don't care yes record me record me to show the whole world how wrong I am you know but honestly that it doesn't appear that way in their heads that's why I saw a poll on this one app. The right wing always think that the side that always favors human rights is always right. Most, most of them voted no, assuming that they don't, they never get their way, or even though their way is like so old and so like medieval. It was two weeks to flatten the curve, not what? We're gonna take COVID swabs in our butts? Also, yeah, you can film me. Please, God, stand up for truth. 
Somebody, somebody's got to do it, right? Like what? How did America get founded? By slaughtering all the American Indians? Off of running away, like, telling it's people what to do? Man. I mean, truly though, sense. let's wake up. Christian, Jew, Arab, I don't care. None of us need to wear masks. And look at this guy with a Navy hat on. I mean, look at most countries, especially the Asian countries, especially Vietnam that controlled COVID really well. They were all wearing ma masks way before even COVID as well. They're practically a running society again, and they have schools running again. And look at look at America. We have schools running again as well, but we don't have a virus situation settled yet. Yeah, vaccines are coming in. Yeah, but I'm afraid what the variants of COVID's gonna happen. And yet also call out the guy in the Navy hat. Oh yeah, you're wearing a Navy hat, but you're wearing a mask. Like, well, that makes no sense, man. You needed to be deported. You ain't no true American. You ain't standing up for truth. So the rest of the video, I'm not really going to show because it's just him complaining that he'll he's gonna call corporate. He also says that like they're gonna do anything about it either. Because to be honest, I don't blame corporate. They're listening to his like false and stupid claims. These people are so entitled that they don't have to wear a mask because they yeah, got a medical condition or like simply because they think this is America they can do whatever they want. America does not mean uncivilized, barbaric era, prehistoric Neanderthal. At the end of the video, he, he's got this to say to the lady that quote unquote confronted him again. Don't ever stop somebody because you are blocking their way. Yeah, no, you'll nobody stop me. I have it on video that you were trying to stop me. You had it on video that you were trying to push a lady through it so you could shop because you don't want to listen to anyone. Like, it's literally on video. You were like, no, move out of my way. She had her hand up like she did not want to have any confrontation with you. And that is how you live in America today. It's Nazi Germany. Worse than Nazi Germany. I don't even know how he can compare this to Nazi Germany. Like, in Nazi Germany, they kill... They, it was like a legit genocide amongst uh, Jewish people. And he's comparing that to mask wearing because it's making him suffocate. It really makes no sense. If you, do, you don't want to wear it, that's fine. But you just can't go to certain places. No one's killing each other for that unless you're that crazy. But no one's, in general, is not doing that. The rest of the video, he claims that his grandma survived the Holocaust. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't feel like looking through the rest of the video. If it's true, I feel sorry for you. But if it's not true, which is the probable cause, then... You're a fucking douchebag. Like, honestly, I'm a very nice person. I'm a very warm-hearted person. But at the same time, just fucking... Just please, get off the face of the earth and never... I'm saying this to all the rest of the Karens as well. The world is not gonna end in a, an apocalypse. Like, a nuclear apocalypse. The world's gonna end because of these people. Maybe it's gonna end both ways because the people that, that are in that are politicians now these days, most of them are like that to begin with. But yeah, I'm gonna look through the comments here that I found on Reddit. I love it when people think they know the law because they can use multisyllabic words. This guy deserves to have his kids taken away for real. But the example that he's setting, like the more people we have like this, it's just gonna multiply like a bunch of like, kind of like cell in the cell games where no matter how many times you take it down, no matter how many times he self-destructs, he's only gonna get even more power. Powerful. Being a douchebag is not a disability. Well, this is the one comment I gotta disagree with because he has a disability. Let's be honest. He's like a psychopath, narcissist, fucking prick. But we don't necessarily give people a pass for that type of stuff because most of these people are immoral to begin with. He's teaching his kids Karen 101. That is literally what I said in earlier in my video. When he said like, kids, you are doing nothing wrong. You gotta learn how to stand up for truth. Like that is like saying, that that is like telling your kids that the earth is freaking flat, COVID is fake, or like 9-11 was an inside job, even though I don't even know. Or that's like saying the moon landing was fake. Like the more of these people we have, by 2030, the world's gonna look like Fallout 76. Never heard so much shit come out of someone's mouth in such a short amount of time. Also, what the fuck does he need eat all those cucumbers for? He must have 40 cues in those boxes. Well, honestly, I don't think he's gonna use all those cucumbers for cooking. I think he's gonna use it to shove it up his ass along with play sex with his fucking two children. And notice how he didn't say wife because he probably doesn't have a wife. His wife probably left him because all the ruckus. No way in the world I would have rung him up. That is so true. Like, I work at this one store off-brand Marshalls. You see these people every day. One time I saw a lady that was shopping here that was from Florida. We told her to put a mask 
mask on, and she was like, no, well, we didn't have to put masks on in Florida. Well, guess what? This is Illinois. Things are more stricter here. And then all of a sudden, she got so mad, she took off her mask. She threw up in the air like Goku taking off his weighted clothes. Like, these people are ridiculous. And one more time, I'm going to say this. I pray for humanity. Humanity's doomed at this point. But honestly, this is gonna do today. Make sure to like su and subscribe, or dislike the video if you disagree with some of my things. I get it. We all have our disagreements, but don't forget to subscribe. As some other people say, you can always unsubscribe if you don't want to watch me anymore. But yeah, all guys, I guess I'll see you next time. Peace.